In this week's video, I'm going to show you guys how my music taste has changed over the years since when I was a little kid and first started listening to it since we were talking about music tastes. Some of the first music I remember uh, listening to was New Found Glory, Good Charlotte, and Avril Lavigne because my sister had those CDs and they're the only ones that I liked out of her collection. I would go up to her room and uh, play them in her good stereo and I just remember my favorite, which I still really listen to nowadays, is New Found Glory and I used to rock out to their album Sticks and Stones. All dressed up and nowhere to go Good Charlotte or Avril Lavigne anymore. I seem to have lost it in, in various changes of laptops and iTunes, and I do really want them back. But I like their old stuff better. Like I only, I only own two albums of New Found Glory, the Sticks and Stones, and their new one. I think it's like Radioology or something like that. I can't remember or Radio Searcher. I can't remember the exact name of the album, but I never really grew with their albums as they would release and got them. I just kind of stuck with the older stuff when I was younger. The first music I ever found on my own was Fall Out Boy. Specifically, They were the first band I fell in love with on my own. I found it so I, I used to watch MTV with my best friend at the time, and I just that song would always come on when they actually still when they had TRL on MTV, and then I got the album for Christmas and a couple others from Fall Out Boy, and I just well, I've loved Fall Out Boy forever. They were my uh, first concert I went to, and they will always forever be like a favorite of mine. I love. Patrick Sum's voice or something about it like he's out of like I have like three artists that I love Patrick Sum is one of them and I will always always love that band I was so sad when they broke up and then they got back together on my birthday this year and I was really happy and I love their new albums fucking fantastic it's the only album I never I didn't like from Fall Out Boy was Fully A Do but all the other ones I loved and this one I don't know it's just it's it's fucking great I love say rock and roll it's really good. Around the same time that I started listening to Fall Out Boy, I found another band because my brother had just a mix that he gotten at some point. He had this CD just burned. He never really bought it. He just got it at a concert, and that was Panic at the Disco. And I, I was like one of the first ever in my school at the time. I was like in fifth grade when I started listening to these bands, and I love Panic at the Disco. I put all the time when I'd play video games. I have like. I had this Sonic game that I used to play all the time on my Nintendo, and even when I'm not listening to Panic at the Disco and I still play that game because I still have it, I just remember listening to the, those that album, that very first one. I don't remember the names because, you know, Panic at the Disco, the names are always really funny and just long as crap, And um, but I, I still can remember the album listening to it and I sing it in my head as I play it, like it's um, like linked memories, it's funny. Um, one of my favorites is the very first one, the very first song on that album. It freaking it just gets me pumped. I still listen to Fall Out Boy and Pang of the Disco and New Found Glory and a couple others as I got into middle school, but then. I started to branch out when I started to get super fucking sad and depressed. And yeah, I was fucking 12, 6th grader and sad as fuck. Um, and I found more emo music, as you would call it. And some like the songs that I'll play, like, they were sad as fuck. And like, it just makes me laugh because... <laughs> I'm not like that at all anymore, and I mean, 
everyone always laughs at their middle school selves. I mean, you're fucking embarrassed all the time. You're just like, I can't believe I ever liked that. But I mean, I still like these songs, and I still like the bands that I used to listen to back then, but not on that same, like, I completely, like, get this kind of way. Like, it just makes you laugh. But, uh, uh, the two songs that I'll play, one by Hawthorne Heights, and then My Chemical Romance, these are, like, two of my favorite songs, and I would play over and over and over again. I can't make it on my own! lasted pretty much all of middle school and I got out of it a little bit more in high school but I still like periodically go back to them and I also listen to like Simple Plan and the Used and it was nostalgia I look back with that and nostalgia and I listen to those bands but uh they're still good and I still like them a lot I really still like Simple Plan and the Used a lot um but like as well at that time I started getting really close to my brother and like during the summers or like weekends I'd stay up like till three o'clock in the morning and he because he's like eight years older than me so he would like be up as well he'd be coming in and then he would just be like hey come here let me I wanted to listen to this whatever so then I started getting close to him with music and I started listening to more like um I guess you kind of say like punk pop or like more like alternative punk kind of thing like the band or and then like just alternative rock it kind of like the three bands that I listen to still that I really still love that I would um got from him are Taken Back Sunday, Creed and Cambria, and uh Circa, Circa Survive. Circa Survive is one of my favorite all-time bands. It's with Fall Out Boy as well like that was a period in my life that like started a whole bunch of other music for me and Circa Survive was amazing and Anthony Green is the second artist that I just love. His voice. I listened to him with Seos and I listened to his um, solo stuff when he was, like, just did a song with Zoloff, the um, creator, something like that. I can't remember exactly the, that band's name. Um, or Zoloff, the music director. I can't remember the band, but he did this one song with them that I love. Just Anthony Green's voice. Like, I, he's fucking fantastic. I just love that band. Circuit Twives, one of my favorites that I, like, I have collected all their albums like I have from Juturna to like their newest stuff their EPs all that stuff like that um but my favorites are Juturna and All Letting Go Survivor got into coding Cambria. Good eyes, sniper. You know, I shoot and you run. But the words you scribbled on the walls with the lots of friends you didn't have. I called you when the time is right. Are you in or are you out? For them all to know the end of a soul. He's another one that I do like his voice, but like I said, it just. That kind of music, it's not like one of my favorites, but just, I still have a place in my heart for Code and Campy. I love them. And then a little bit later, like I didn't like full, I got into like one album of Taking Back Sunday. Your lipstick is calling up by the angel. I know exactly what goes on. And the 
album, Tell Your Friends, is my favorite from Taken Back Sunday. It also kind of went with my whole emo phase, the deep feels that I had when I was 12. Um, and, but it, I grew, I grew to really love Taking Back Sunday. Like, by Anthony Green and Zoloft the Destroyer I believe is the band that I really loved and that was like ninth grade so now I took you through like elementary school to middle school like those are all the bands and now we're like beginning of high school and that's when I really again started really loving Circus Revive I got away from more of um the emo um I got really into Anthony Green and a couple others and one of them I just found on YouTube, I would listen to all the different like YouTube videos they had and all the music videos, and I just loved them. Like I would just, they were the first band that I found on YouTube and would listen to them for a while until I finally got the album for Christmas. I would just, I had a whole playlist of them, just whatever it is I could find, and that's Paramore. And she's another one. She's the third artist. I just, lo I love. Fucking Haley Williams. She is my biggest girl crush ever, my biggest celebrity crush ever. I just fucking adore Haley Williams. She's amazing. And I love Paramore. The funny thing with Paramore though is that every album, like their first album, their second album, the third album, and their recent album, like every single album for some reason, I have to listen to a couple times to fully love. Like I have to like gradually slowly get into that their albums it's funny but then once i do i'm just like yeah i fucking love this album they're an amazing amazing band i love them tell me what our time went and if it was time well spent just don't let me fall asleep feeling again and around uh end of middle school and early high school there was another genre that I started getting into and that was like um pop rock the main band that I absolutely love um and I still listen to the day like the other bands I don't really listen to much anymore but All Time Low started it listen to Forever the Sickest Kids The Main um Hit the Lights Boys Like Girls and The Cap Like I said before, I only listen to All Time Low anymore. I don't really listen to any of those other bands. They're on my iPod, but I don't really ever listen to them unless it's in the shuffle. A couple years there, I would just listen to a variation of all the bands that I've collected and liked over the years, and I never really found new music. I just listened to my pop punk and a little bit of my emo and then my uh, alternative rock and stuff like that. Until like the past two years, I got more into folk and indie music um the main person that i found like i found her on tumblr because a follower of mine or person i follow who's british um posted a video of hers and i love her she's got an amazing voice she's not exactly super popular here she's been on carson daily um late night uh but not really much else but she's getting popular more in britain and i just love her, her name's leanne lahavas and one of my favorite songs. It's really sad. Like, she's a very mellow artist and kind of deep emotional, but I love her. One of my favorite songs is Lost and Found. Come upstairs and I'll show you where oh my, where my demons hide from you. So now we're basically up to now and my music taste in the last couple months and Pop punk bands have been coming popular with, you know, like Man Overboard and one of my favorites that I absolutely love because I heard this song and they're a bit acoustic every now and then too, like they have an acoustic album, but um, the song is Hebron, or Hebron, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but by uh, Real Friends. They're 
I've spent the end of my summer listening to these songs I know you don't like. I've been wondering where you are and who you're with. I love that sound. Like, it's gone kind of how, like, the early 2000s kind of was with Save the Day and a bunch of those other bands that, like, my siblings and my cousins all listen to, like, that genre is getting big again with all the bands with, and Neck Deep and a couple others. But I love Real Friends. They're a good band and t Ron is one of my favorites. So as you can see, I just kind of listened to a wide, vari wide variety of music. I've just had different changes here and there and just genres that have just come in and that kind of stayed with me. And I still every now and then I get just a um, craving for a certain type of music, certain artists. But uh, like I said, like folk and indie, like I'm pretty sure I'll, I listen to that all the time. Like I'll just have like um, one of the radio, uh, like a folk radio on um, Spotify and I'll just listen to that. And that's pretty much kind of like the genre I am now. But I'm not really like close-minded to anything else. Like I, like I said, I love a wide variety of stuff and I will continue to love a wide variety of stuff no matter what. I'm a big music fan. I'll eat up anything you think I'd like, just recommend anything and I'll probably most likely like it. I just love music. Music's everything to me and it's great. Um, so I think that's it for me. This is gonna be I'm sorry it's really effing long and uh hope you liked my lip syncing talents. Um but so tune in tomorrow for JC and um have a good day. So uh stay lovely.